the pH and ionization of the medium or the drug. Now we need to understand that ionized drugs are water soluble, hence they are poorly absorbed. Whereas non ionized molecules are lipid soluble and they easily call across the cell membrane. So and the degree of ionization also depends on the pH. Okay, I will get to the point step by step. Now let's understand one thing first. Now we have a strong acid, for example. And for example, we have HCl, which is a strong acid. Now if I put HCl into water, it will dissociate into H ions and Cl ions, of which because it is a strong acid, it will completely ionize into H plus and Cl ions and the compound that is HCl is absent. Meaning the unionized form is absent and the ionized form is completely present. Okay, this is what happens in case of a, a strong acid. Same thing happens with a strong base. If I take NaOH, and it dissociates in water, it dissociates into sodium ions and OH ions. Okay. And because the strong base, it will completely dissociate into sodium and OH ion. The meaning of strong and weak is depending upon the how much it dissociates. So strong acids and strong bases, they completely ionize, leaving only the ionized part and the unionized part is missing and we know that the unionized molecules are the molecules which are lipid soluble hence strong acids and strong bases undergo complete dissociation as they are highly ionized and therefore they are poorly absorbed therefore we talk about these acids in case of a strong acid, just remember for now, it's the H plus ions which are responsible for the acidity. And in case of strong bases, it's the OH minus ions which are responsible for the alkalinity of the medium. Okay. Moving to understand further, when we have a weak acid, for example, we have aspirin. Okay. Now, when I put aspirin into water, it dissociates into some amount of the ionized form but the unionized part also remains because it is a weak acid it does not undergo complete dissociation in case of a neutral medium like water okay meaning weak acids and bases have incomplete dissociation hence unionized and therefore they are better absorbed because they are lipid soluble Therefore, this is why weak acids and weak bases perform better at absorbability when compared to strong acids and strong bases. Okay. Now, we just understood that H plus ions are responsible to cause the acidity of the medium. Right. Now, uh, also, we know that uh, the weak acid in a neutral medium will dissociate into the ionized and the unionized form. Now imagine we have a acidic medium. Now in a neutral medium, it dissociated partially into unionized and partially into ionized. Now imagine we have an acidic medium. Now in the acidic medium, the H plus ions are already present. Let's take an example of salt and water. When we have salt and water and we constantly keep mixing salt into water, at a point it reaches saturation and no more salt gets mixed into the water because it is saturated. Similarly, if we have an acidic medium, depending upon the acidity of the medium, there will be that much amount of H plus ions. Those H plus ions will prevent the dissociation of a weak acid into ionized forms which means because it is already saturated with the medium is already saturated with H plus ions it will prevent a further dissociation of the unionized to ionized form meaning a weak acid in an acidic medium will prevent further 
ionization and hence increase the unionized form which means increase the lipophilic form which means increases the concentration which is available for absorption hence weak acids perform better in an acidic medium and weak bases perform better in an basic or an alkaline medium for more such videos please like share follow and subscribe my youtube channel you can also follow me on instagram have a good day thank you